here we have information that could come from a vet's office. Let's say we had five pets uh, visit the vet today, and these are their costs. Now let's say we want to figure out what the total cost per pet is. So we could use a sum function for this. So we can go down to total cost, type in equals sum, and we can select these four cells here. And then sheets will ignore any X's or anything that is not a number. Close parentheses, hit enter, and there we go. And then you can drag this and see that it updates. So that each cell now refers to the correct pet. And this is called relative reference because the total cost per pet is relative to which pet you're referring to. However, there are some costs over here, the flat fees, that are the same for every pet. So every pet gets a rabies vaccine that costs $30, and there's a standard exam fee of $15 for every pet. So let's say we want to add those standard fees to the total cost. So we'll add a category for flat fee, and then we can refer to these cells by typing in equals, we can select this plus, and then select the rabies vaccine one. Hit enter and we have our flat fee of $45 here. Now, if we try and drag this over, we notice that it doesn't update, and that's because we're using relative reference. So if we look, this is now referring to these two cells here instead of referring to the flat fees here. So if we go back here and add a dollar sign in front of the I, you'll notice that when we drag it, suddenly one of the cells here is correct. And that's because a dollar sign means that we're using absolute reference. So if we drag this, it still refers to the same cell. Whereas this one, which is a relative reference, is going to change and move the cell it refers to. So let's go back and add a dollar sign in front of this I3. Hit enter. Now if we drag it over, all of the flat fees will be 45. Now let's add the total before tax cost. So before tax total. And this is just the sum we did before, but of these cells here. Close parentheses. And this is going to be relative reference because the before tax total will be different for each pet and therefore will be relative to the pet. Now, let's say we want to add taxes to it. One thing we could do is type in equals 0.1 for 10%, multiply that by the before tax total. And here we have the tax for Fluffy uh, we can drag that over and we can get the taxes for each pet. And now we can calculate the overall sum simply by adding this cell here, the before tax total, to the taxes. And there we go. And this is also going to be relative reference because the total cost will be relative to the pet. So you drag that over and now we have the total cost per pet. But now let's say you want to use different tax rates. So let's add taxes as a flat fee here. Let's make it 12%. So if we go over here to taxes, let's delete the 10%. And instead of this point 0.1 here, we're gonna actually refer to the tax rate here. So select that. Sheets makes you delete it first and select this and then multiply it by the before tax total, hit enter. Now, if you move it over, taxes are going to become zero because again, we're using relative reference, which means this now refers to the cell here. So we need to go back and remember to use absolute reference this time. So it's referring to the same cell even when you drag it. And there you go. And notice that the total cost automatically updates. So if you wanna change the tax rate to say 11%, the total updates again. So I hope this has helped you to gain a better understanding of the difference between absolute and relative reference in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching.